it's Ellie Hart from TC Helicon, and in this video, we are gonna be talking about presets with the Perform VK. So the Perform VK comes with three different preset settings. What's a preset? Well, it's basically a collection of effects that you've pre-assigned to that preset. How many times did I say pre in there? It doesn't matter. So, for example, if I want a set of effects for uh, all of my fast songs, I can create a preset for fast songs, I can do a second preset for slow songs, and then a third preset for any weird and wonderful other combination of effects that you think is appropriate for your set. So what you do is you have your first preset highlighted, and you can go in here and any edits you do to these effects is gonna be saved to that preset. When you go to the next one, you'll have other um, any edits, again, saved to that one. So for example, I have uh, this red reverb. Hey, hey. And then for echo, I have, hey, check, check. check, 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 check. There, and this is kind of my fast song. Who can't fight the temptation when you feel the vibration? And that gives me a nice short reverb with a really fun kind of live rockin' echo. Rockin'. <laughs> okay, preset two, I've kind of made this my slow preset. Uh, so I've got a, really nice uh, long reverb. Uh, the nice thing about these presets is that if you um, choose a harmony voicing under this preset, it will stay there and it won't change. So for my slow one, I've got harmony low and lower selected. And that's from my cover of, of Let It Be. Let it be, let it be. So for example, if I selected preset one and I did that song, it would sound different. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Um, it doesn't necessarily sound bad, it's just not the sound I was going for. Um, I wanted that, those effects from preset number two. Preset number three, um, I've got set up right now to work for my song uh, Hide and Seek by Image and Heap. So I've got the harmonies pre-programmed to do my MIDI notes and uh, reverb and delay all programmed. So all I need to do if I want to do this song is um, I hit my octave button here on my keyboard and I turn the volume down. Where? <laughs> octave button down, not up. Where and I'm all ready to go there. It also takes the harmony voice level, volume level, um, you can, uh, individually determine that for each preset. So basically anything you do in a preset level, like any edits you make to your effects is gonna save to that preset. So that's really uh, a lovely function that we have there. So we also have several uh, different presets and even different effect styles available that you can import into your Perform VK using our phone app called the Perform VK. So just go to your iOS or Android app store Look for Perform VK and this app will show up. Download that, it's free. The first screen that will come up is this beautiful photo of the Perform VK. There's a search bar, so if you already know the name of the preset or the effect that you're looking for, you can use that. You can also hit the Genre button. It actually gives you a list of different genres that you can choose from. They have lots of different presets within there or uh, just the effects themselves. Hard tune, double, echo, reverb, megaphone, extreme, and uh, there's some character presets and, and effects in there as well. We also have a whole bunch of presets that we've created based on popular songs and popular artists. So you can have a peruse through there. And then once you like something, we also have a favorites menu. So you can save these different presets to your favorites. Okay, so let's say I wanna get this like extreme, we'll just do something extreme because uh, why not? Um, these are actually, these are different individual effects, I believe. So I changed my mind. We're going to get uh, a preset. So I'm going to go to the songs and choose Achy Breaky Heart. If you want to make that a favorite, you just hit that star and it's going to show up in your favorites menu. So Achy Breaky Heart, I can see the effects that are in it. There is reverb and there's um, some harmony. So. There's two different ways to get these effects into your Perform VK. One is by beaming it in, and the other is by using um, USB. So I'm gonna show you how to beam it in. 
Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that the volume on your phone is turned on. So I've got my little volume button on the side. I am going to put this next to this little microphone that's on here and I'm gonna hit beam. And it says, wait till the sound stops. There we go. It makes a really fun sound. It feels like you're uh, like communicating to somebody in space. Like breaker, breaker, one nine. Breaker. Anyways, it's beamed in there. So that just beamed into preset one. And now I've got, I've got that in there. You'll also notice that when I hit it again, it went blue. So that's called a hit. All of our presets that we have within the app have hits and hit allows you to trigger something different in the middle of the song. So when this preset you hit hit, it triggers harmony and it lets go of um, the delay. So maybe in the chorus, uh, they don't have delay in the song. So don't break my heart. And same thing, you need to give it some chord information. Ooh, don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think you'd understand. Okay, so if you want to beam in a preset in the middle of a set, but you don't want that sound to happen, the only option is to use your USB and a camera connector kit. Okay, so this goes into here, this goes into your phone, and this end goes into the back of the um, Perform VK. I'm using it for something else right now, so I'm not going to do that, but uh, that's your option. And yeah. Very simple, you just choose your thing and you hit beam still, but it'll go through this instead of going through the, through the mic and making that noise. So that's pretty simple. So let's go back to this preset that we did beam in there and I've got hit. Now, hit basically means uh, if you have a chorus coming and you wanna change the effects with one button, you can change multiple effects. So say, um, Green for preset one is just reverb, but in the chorus, I want harmony and delay to start. Instead of hitting both those buttons, you can hit the one again, it'll turn blue, and we'll have harmony and echo come on. So again, say we're in the verse, we're in preset number one, we've just got reverb. Now the chorus comes, I want harmony and echo to go. Just hit the hit, now blue is hit activated, and those two came on. So if that's what comes with the preset, but I'm like, I'm an artist and I have my own opinion about how I want this to sound and I don't want delayed or echo to come on, while I'm in that hit um, state, the button's blue, I can tap echo, deactivate it, and now it will not come on when you hit. So I've gone back to my normal screen with green, hit, you'll notice echo did not come on that way. So super simple. The other thing, if you wanna, um, edit any of these effects from the preset. It's the same pretty much as uh, editing effects from before. Hold down reverb, but you'll notice that the first edit screen it takes me to is that white light blue color. So it, that's the beamed in or imported in preset, um, or rather effect. It's always gonna go to that field, that reverb style. Same with echo. Hold that down to edit. It's gonna automatically take you to the beamed in or imported in effect and that's that white color. It can be a little bit confusing because when it times out, you'll see it's not pulsing anymore. It's kind of that, it's the exact same white, um, light blue color. That's, remember, always going to be the harmony voice uh, volume. And you can tell because when I start moving it, the harmony starts pulsing. So again, if I hold down echo to edit it, um, and I'm moving it around, it's the echo that's pulsing, not the harmony. It times out pretty quick, there we go, timed out, back to this white, but nothing's pulsing. As soon as I move that control knob, it's the harmony that's pulsing. Hope that helps clarify that a bit. So that's how you edit, that's how you import presets, and that's all the things you need to know about presets and hits. So I hope that was really helpful. If you have any further questions, throw them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video, and if you feel so inclined, please subscribe to our channel.